I thought mm -hmm. still the karma was bad because we drew the outside post position and everybody, I mean, 20 people said, what a tough, that's, that's such tough luck, you know. And no horse had ever won from the outside gate at the time. And I thought, and I kicked the pole and actually broke my toe because I said the Hancocks are cursed. My dad had about four horses who could have won the Derby, but something happened to every one of them. And uh, I was limping around. We went home, and, and uh, you know, that's when I got to thinking, well, what's so bad about being out there? And I got to remembering my Vanderbilt geometry and that you could find out something about the hypotenuse of a right-angle triangle. And I called a friend of mine who's good in math, Paul Sullivan, who's an attorney up there in Lexington. Um, he said, oh, yeah, that's the Pythagorean theorem. And he said, let me figure this up. And he said, you know how much you lose? I said, what? I don't know, five or ten lengths. How much do we lose? He said, 2.4 feet. I said, what? He said, 2.4 feet. Now, that's assuming you don't come rushing into the rail. So he said, let me refigure it. And he did, and it was 2.4 feet. And I called Eddie Gregson, who was the trainer. And I said, Eddie, how much do you think we lose being out there? He said, well, it's insurmountable. That's a terrible, terrible blow. And, and I said, what, five links, 10? He said, probably somewhere five, six, seven links. I told him what we'd done. He said, that's uncanny. And he figured it. He was a Phi Beta Kappa at Stanford. He said, this is unbelievable. So he called Eddie Delahousie and told him. And, you know, we told Eddie just to, when he came out of there, uh, I said to Eddie, just put the end of that stretch between the horse's ears and, and, and don't come in no matter what you do. And he didn't come in for an eighth of a mile. And he didn't lose hardly any ground. And, and we had a, a filly named Koopa Coy's Joy was in the race, and she went uh, three quarters of a mile and one ten and two. So that's really what set it up for the come from behind horse. But had we come rushing in, we might have lost the couple of links that we won back. But um, so we, you know, the dream came true. We won the Kentucky Derby.